what's going on, Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add audio, background music, and even sound effects to your video, either within CapCut PC or bringing your own audio into CapCut for PC. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually utilize the music that comes with CapCut. There's a lot of great sounds, sound effects, and background music that you can use on your videos for absolutely free. All right, so if you wanna use one of the music tracks from CapCut, all you have to do is click and drag and bring it down to your timeline, and then you can line it up and then you can trim the rest if you want to, and that way it just goes the duration of your video. Most clips are pretty loud, so I recommend lowering them by like negative six dB, and that'll make it so it's not super loud, but let's just play this really quick. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if that's all you wanted to do, that's very basic and easy to do. In some cases, the footage that you have, you might want to mute and then put the background music behind. Another thing I wanna show you is how to lower your music so that like if you had like a talking head video, you can make it so that you could still hear the person talking but have some background music. So what I recommend that you do is click on your music, come over here to basic on the top right and just lower this somewhere in the neighborhood of negative 20 to negative 25 db and that's usually going to be a good range for you when you have someone talking but you also want a little bit of background music you can also add things like fade ins and fade outs which can be pretty cool especially if you're coming in and out of clips during your edit all right so that's if you want to use the TikTok music that comes with CapCut for pc but what if you want to add your own music it's a little bit different you have to come over here to where it says media you have to click import and then you wanna to go to the place where you have your music stored, whether it's in your downloads folder or some other folder. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, and now it's imported in my media folder right here. It looks the same as the audio that you're gonna see in CapCut, but it's something that you can import. So I can just click and drag this down to my timeline, and now I've got that audio easily imported into my video. Now, what about sound effects? Well, I've been using CapCut for about a year now, and I've noticed that all these sound effects that I really need are within CapCut. So I just go to the audio tab, and I go over to where it says sound effects, and you can actually search for a sound effect. So let's say that I want a whoosh. So I got a whoosh with echo. I can add that to my timeline. So now I've got this cool whoosh sound effect. But if you wanted to add your own sound effects, you do the same thing as if you were adding music. You just click on import, you go to where that sound effect is on your computer, and then you just upload it and it's gonna be stored right here. So it's really easy to use, it's really easy to add audio, and you can do other cool things, like if you have a talking voice, you can add talking effects, uh, voice effects, there's a whole bunch of different things. So I definitely recommend experimenting with it to just make your videos more creative and fun. All right, so that's my video on how to add music and sound effects to CapCut for PC. If this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's a video or there's something in CapCut that you don't know how to do that you wanna learn, put it in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to make a video on it. I also highly recommend that you check out this beginner tutorial I did for CapCut if you're brand new. I'm gonna put it right up here. You can go ahead and check it out. It'll be really, it's like a very comprehensive, it's like 30 minutes long. It's a very in-depth use on how to use CapCut. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in another video.